Hi there. Now for parts D and E of this question, we're told then that a biased die with five faces is rolled. And we've got the discrete random variable Y represents the score which is uppermost. The commutative distribution function of Y is shown in this table here. And we've got to find the value of K for one mark and in part E find the probability distribution of Y for three marks. So if you'd like to try this, haven't done so already, just give you a moment then to pause the video. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. Let's see how you got on then for part D first of all. So we've got to be familiar with what we mean by the community distribution, f of y. So f of y is equal to the probability of y being less than or equal to this observed value, y. And so if I turn to this last one here, I know that f of 5 would be the probability of being less than or equal to 5. And we're told it's 5k. But the sum of all the probabilities must come to 1. So therefore, what I'm saying is that f of 5 we know equals 1. That is the probability of being less than or equal to 5. f of 5 is 5k, so therefore we've got 5k must equal 1, so therefore k must be equal to 1 fifth. Alright, now if we move on then to the next part, part E, we've got to now find the probability distribution of y. So you might want to pause the video at this stage and uh, give this a go now that you know that k equals 1 fifth. Anyway, to work out the probability distribution of y, what I'm trying to do then is to work out, or draw up a table, the probabilities then for our observed value y. And y has the values 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So how do we get these probabilities, the probability that our random variable y equals the observed value. Well, knowing that we've got commutative probability here, we rely on this result, that the probability of y equaling y is going to equal the probability of y being less than or equal to y minus the probability of y being less than or equal to y minus 1. In other words, f of y minus f of y minus 1. So if we start, say, at this first one here, then the probability of y equaling 1 is going to be just simply 1 tenth, because there's no other previous probability. OK, so that's an easy one to put in. That's going to be 1 tenth. But when it comes to the probability of y equaling 2, that's going to be f of 2 minus f of 1. So 2 tenths minus 1 tenth is going to be 1 tenth. Basically what we're doing is f of any value minus f of the previous value. So when it comes to on to working out the probability of y equals 3, it's going to be f of 3 minus f of 2. In other words, 3k minus 2 tenths. Well, k is 1 fifth. So it will be 3 fifths minus 2 tenths. And that turns out to be 4 tenths. So for 1y equals 4, we're just going to be doing 4k minus 3k, which is just going to be k. k is 1 fifth. I'm going to write it in tenths though, so that will be the same as 2 tenths. I feel it's nicer to keep this all in tenths. And finally for 5, it will be 5k minus 4k, which again is k, so it will be 2 tenths. And you can run a check on this, it comes to 10 tenths. In other words, one whole one. Okay?